After 20 years of questions, we may be closer to finding out what happened to Peter Boy Kemma, who went missing in 1997. In two months, his father, Peter Kemma Sr., will stand trial for his six-year-old son's murder. Kathy Muneno sat down with the prosecutor and takes a closer look at the challenges he faces. It's a story you'll see only on KHON2. Kathy? Joe, Hawaii County Deputy Prosecutor Ricky Roy Damerville has utmost confidence in the circumstantial evidence on which this case is built, citing other such cases that have been successful. And yet, foreclosure, will Peter Boy ever be found? Are we any closer to finding Peter Boy? Um... We're going to need some luck, I think. Um, but I, um, I'm still hopeful. I love you. And I think that we will at some point find Peter Boy. Um, not alive, but um, I think at some point we will. The state's case against Peter Kemma Sr. does not rely on finding Peter Boy. But in court last December, Damerville did tell a judge that the state will prove that Peter Boy died of septic shock, often caused by a severe infection and can be fatal if not treated. Also in court that day, Jalen Kemma, who admitted she did not seek medical treatment for her son. It was part of her plea agreement pleading guilty to a lesser charge of manslaughter and agreeing to testify against her husband. We hope she cooperates. As she said she's going to cooperate, and uh, we believe she's going to cooperate. But if she, for some reason, should change her mind, um, we would still be ready to go. When we indicted this case, um, we did it on the assumption that both of them would go through to trial and then we would try both of them. We didn't anticipate or gamble that one would uh, turn state's evidence, anything like that. Why do you think Jalen decided to speak against her husband? I think if you watched her closely, she had great regrets as to um, and I don't think it was motivated, motivated by anything other than great sorrow and great regret. Not motivated by the sentence in her agreement. One year in prison, ten years probation. People look at a plea agreement and they say, ten years probation? Shoot, I can do ten years probation. Really? You want to try it? I'll withhold judgment on myself until after the case is over, and then we can have this discussion again, okay? Does Jalen know where Peter Boy is? Jalen must know where he is. Right? Well, that's, that's kind of a supposition that I don't go there, all right? Um, the dynamics of child abuse and spouse abuse um, are very complex. They're very complex and it's not always a matter of what one person knows. Certainly the other person necessarily knows. That's, that's not always there. Jalen Kemma has been in custody since her arrest, so that one year in prison in the plea agreement, it ends April 27th, two days after her husband's trial is supposed to begin. What is your greatest challenge with this case, or what are the challenges that you face? I have been doing criminal law now for more than 35 years, and the greatest challenge is always the same one. Are my witnesses going to show up? Witnesses so key to a case so reliant on circumstantial evidence. Yet even still, even after the trial, if need be, the search for Peter Boy will never end. I think we're going to do our best to find some closure for his siblings. Okay. 
Peter Kema Sr. is represented by a court-appointed private attorney, Stanton Oshiro. The public defender's office cited a conflict of interest. As some people who were interviewed for this case over all those years were at one time or another represented by public defenders. Joe?